Lucas Media. So Tyler Perry is facing a lot of criticism for his upcoming movie starring Megan Good. The new film is called Divorce in Black. And of course, the movie has always just written, produced by Tyler Perry. Basically, he's doing it all himself. He just paying Megan Good. You know, 50, 60,000 probably for her to be a star in our own movie. But ironically, he's facing a lot of backlash. As some people are saying, is he going to keep making movies about the same thing and switch it up? And, you know, people are, are expressing how tired they are because if you see one Tyler Perry movie, pretty much you didn't see them all. And I mean, they all got the same ending. I mean, come on now. You know, you know what the, how the movie going to end before you see it. But here's my thing, right? I mean, I, I don't understand why people are upset now. Why are you upset now? Now, when Tyler Perry was was tearing tearing it up in the the mid two thousands and the twenty ten, I didn't hear nobody complaining about this. He made the same thing over and over again, and and we had people. The movie theater, especially down here in Atlanta, was jam packed. Made that man a billionaire off the same cookie cutter movies. You know he. Tyler Perry was recording on an iPhone 3. You know what I mean? He down there with a 3GS recording. And, you know, you paying the actors pennies on the dollar. Yeah, that made him a billionaire. So now you want to complain? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, y'all too late. You're 20 years too late on this. I mean, look at all the Medea movies. Look at all the, um, what's those movies he came out with with Janet Jackson then? The Why Did I Get Married and, uh, a family that prays all, all these different movies you know all these different movies that didn't came out that he didn't sell it out theaters and sold it out on uh on dvd and and now y'all want to complain no no and the man worth what one point something billion dollars now so what why would he change it up he no he's not but here's the thing as well when you go to these hair stores they don't change it up they give you the same price when you go to these liquor stores they don't change it up when you listen to your music they don't change it up you hear the same cookie cutter music and make all them guys millionaires. You turn on the radio, can you even hear the music? All you hear is, you know, I'm a sugar, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Parker, pop a Parker set. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, all you understand is the beat. And even all the beats sound the same. There's no more individuality. There's no more Timberlands. There's no more Just Blazes. There's no more Pharrells. Everything is the same cookie cutter. And you don't complain about that. So why all of a sudden now, you gonna start complaining about Tyler Perry movies? No, no, no. You should have been complaining years ago. He probably would have switched it up. And yes, he does have the, the money and the resources now to make other movies. But why would he do something? You know, if it ain't broke, why fix it? You know, he know that yeah, maybe a small portion of people gonna complain, but he know people gonna show up. People's grandma's gonna show up. People's auntie's gonna show up. People's mama's gonna show up. Some people's daddies and uncles going to show up. So, I mean, hey, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. And he, I, I really don't want to hear it as well because people could have, if y'all really felt some kind of way and want to see revolutionary stuff, then everybody should have supported Spike Lee way more, you know. Spike Lee ain't worth a billion dollars. Every Spike Lee movie should have been sold out back to 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 back. No, you didn't. You didn't want to do it. And you supported Tyler Perry. So, I mean, so deal with it. You know, watch the same movies over and over again. I ain't even mad at Tyler Perry. Get your money, man. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. And tell me what y'all think.